Welcome to Art with Miss Allen, with me, Miss Allen. On this channel, we will be drawing and coloring, cutting and gluing, painting, and doing a lot of other fun art activities that we can make together at home. I cannot wait to make art with you. Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today that we could learn about an African-American artist named Jean-Michel Basquiat, and he is really cool with his abstract visions and all of these different forms that he likes to make. If you'd like to learn more about him, down in the description of this video, there is a book reading by the author about um, Jean Bias, excuse me, about Jean Michel, and it is called Radiant Child. It's a really good book if you'd like to watch it. I think it's five minutes. It's not a long video at all. I'm gonna talk a little bit about his work and then we are gonna get started painting some really cool king dinosaurs. Here we go. This is Jean-Michel Basquiat, who was an African-American painter who grew up in Brooklyn in New York City. And he is very well known for his abstract paintings. They are huge paintings, which this picture doesn't really show you, but he used lots of lines and colors and words and images to try to make his viewers think. He was very inspired by bones and human anatomy and things that he could see on his everyday life, in his everyday life in New York. So today, for your supplies, I am going to be using paint and I'm also going to be using some um, pencil just so I can kind of sketch out what I want to draw first. But I'm not going to be painting on paper, I'm going to be painting on cardboard. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just for some texture difference. Um, this is going to give me a lot different of a texture than paper will. Also, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to explore a new thing while we're learning about Basquiat. So, I don't expect you to use paint. If you want to use paint and your parents are okay with it, or whoever is that is with you, your grown-ups, um, if they are okay with it, then by all means, paint along with me. But if they are not okay with it, or if you just don't have paint at home, you can always use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have. Maybe you just wanna cut paper out and glue it down to look like what we're doing today. That is up to you. I don't want you to worry about not having the supplies. So use whatever you've got, but you can still have fun watching me do it. Here we go. So I'm gonna be using temper cakes. Temper cakes are something I've been using in class a lot lately. They're a lot like watercolors, except for their temper paint, which means they're a lot bolder and a lot brighter. Um, they work like watercolors though, in that I need to have water to make them work. You can use whatever paint you want, but my paints are gonna require two jars of water, and a brush and I have a paper towel sitting off to the side where you can't see it but I will use one of these jars for clean water that will I'll use to wake up my colors and I'll use the other jar as a way of cleaning my brush so I don't get muddy water on my colors let's show you how it's gonna work all I'm gonna do is if I want blue I'm gonna wake up this blue with my water and like Basquiat, he did not care about being perfect. So I am not going to care about being perfect. I am going to start making different strokes of lines around my picture. If I want to switch colors, I can. Maybe this corner has red. But I'm not going to worry too much about being perfect. I'm just kind of playing with the paint. So on this one, just go wild, kiddos. Make, make it look really cool. Now that this is dried, for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the dinosaur. I'm not gonna use a pencil. Um, if you would like to use a pencil to draw, you can but I'm just gonna use my paint. So I switched out my temperas and got just black liquid tempera paint. Um, it's just a little brighter, so I thought I'd use it. But what we're gonna do 
is we are gonna make a dinosaur. So first things first, we are going to make sure we start with the head. So I don't wanna start right in the middle of my pretty picture. I wanna come up a little bit and over just a little bit. And right here is gonna be the beginning of my head. And I'm just gonna do a little curved line. Nothing major. I know that's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna lift it up so you can see. And forgive me, I'm drawing upside down. So if mine looks a little different, it'll be okay. But I made this little curved line and I am gonna make his mouth, which is going to bounce, watch. It's gonna curve under, come in. And you can come in pretty far if you want to. And then I'm gonna drop down and come back out. Then we'll do a little chin just coming right underneath that. Now, this does not have to be perfect. Remember, Basquiat was a um, abstract artist, so he didn't try to be perfect. But I'm gonna use the black here. Now that I have his little chin, I'm gonna come down for his, his belly and arms. So I might even do this. Let's make his belly. Came down a little bit, not too bad. And I have a little curve in it, so he has a little bit of a big belly. For his arms, I'm gonna come out with my brush and make a little hand. I'm making a T-Rex, so he has little arms and little hands. And right underneath that, I'll do another one. <laughs> That's kind of cute. All right, so I'm gonna make his leg and I'm gonna start on his belly and I'm gonna make a line out. And let's make some feet. And I have a little black dot there, so I'm gonna make his feet here. But three toes on that foot. We'll make his belly continue over a little bit and we'll draw another leg. And if you wanna make that first leg a little thicker, that'd be good, but you don't have to. But So this leg, is facing us a little bit. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make three toes again. And I'm gonna make his leg a little thicker again. Now, let's stop there for a second and let's go back up to the top of his head. So at the top of his head, I'm gonna come down for his neck I'm gonna come out a little bit for his back. And then I can make his tail. And I'm just gonna sweep to the side of that tail. And then I'll start back where his foot ended and sweep to the side again. Now this time, my line's gonna connect at the very end. Now, all I'm gonna do for this black part now is I'm gonna color all of this in with my black paint. Now, while we are waiting for this, I don't have to wait to do his crown. We're making a king dinosaur. So I'm gonna make a king dinosaur by making above his head, straight line. I'm gonna make two lines up. And then I'm gonna make a W in between that connect. So comes up in the middle next. So a nice little crown here. Now I have to let this dry and I'm going to go get my other paints so that we can finish the details on him. So the first thing I'm going to do now that my dinosaur is mostly dry is I'm going to color in the crown. So you may color your crown in whatever color you want it to be but I am going to make mine a pretty traditional crown so I am gonna do some nice yellow. And if you didn't wanna do a dinosaur, you could always do a different animal. I'm just doing a dinosaur because I really loved Basquiat's dinosaur and thought it was so cool. So 
His dinosaur also has a layer of yellow going around it that I'm, yellow is my favorite color, so I really like that. So I'm gonna put some yellow going around it. And you can't really see my yellow. My yellow is not a super bright yellow because I'm using the water paints to do it. Um, so if you want to change it up, you can, but I'm just gonna stick with it. I like the texture that it gives. Plus, it's just kind of fun. Oh well, it'll be okay. I bet my red will show up. Um, I am going to use red for his mouth and for the back spikes he has. So, a little bit of red coming in there. Basquiat has some designs on his belly. I might do those too, but I'm going to do the little spikes first. Now he looks like a real dinosaur. Go all the way down the tail. So Basquiat likes to do different shapes and different lines inside of the animal. So if you'd like to, you can join in on that fun. You don't have to. It's not necessary, but it is kind of fun to play around with different shapes. Now, I don't know about you, but I want my dinosaur to have some teeth. So I am working on waking up my white paint so that I can draw some nice little triangle teeth. And let's do that right there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I'm gonna continue using the white. I'm gonna give him two like ovals for his eyes. I'm gonna give him two little dots for his nose with the white. I'm also gonna give him some body contour lines. So that means I'm gonna follow lines of his body just to kind of give him some space there. And if you want to use more white, you can. I mean, Basquiat went all the way down his foot, so I might do that too. And then I'm going to wake up my red one more time, and I'm going to give him some red eyes. And I didn't wait for that to dry, so it might bleed in a little bit, but I like him. I think he's cute. I hope you had fun doing this with me. I'm going to let it dry, and then I'll pick it up so we can see it. If you want to add any other animals around him, maybe more words, maybe you like more dinosaurs, more crowns, doesn't matter what you add if you want to add, but I am going to let this dry, and then we'll, we'll get to talk about him a little bit more. And he's done. <laughs> he came out super cute. I gave mine too big of a head because I was drawing upside down. But I think he's adorable. So I will keep him. I like him. I'll claim him. But I hope you guys had a lot of fun with this. Um, remember, you don't have to use cardboard. It's just a different feeling for me. And I just felt like doing something a little different since we were going to be talking about Jean-Michel Basquiat. So I hope you had fun. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.